Joshua. Yeah. Good yes. morning. So, yeah, it's evening uh, here. Yeah. yeah, and it is with Livingstone as well. But let me start with you, Joshua. I came and visited you back in 2015, didn't I? Right. Wow. And we had this wonderful seminar with the authorities of the education of the Northwest region who came down to Bafut and we had all the local authorities because they thought the idea of the metrics is great. And we couldn't, we couldn't really seem to get our feet on the ground, but then I left. And what's very interesting is what has joined the matrix um, because of its empowerment ability is teaching English so that those who uh, English is a second language learn how to teach English well in, within their school. However, that wouldn't be so great right now where you are, would it? What's going on in Cameroon? <laughs> What's going the on? trouble in Cameroon um, is about other people's culture, other people's education systems that have completely ruined the futures of young people who are totally confused because education is the tool that we use to build capacity in children, in youth, in women. But the situation in Cameroon from the history, as we know, Cameroon was a territory of the Germans and during the Second World War, the Germans were defeated and this territory was split between the French and the English, who later on were forced into a union. I say forced because the French part had its independence in 1960, and the English-speaking part had its independence in 1961. But a curious situation came up when they asked that the English-speaking should have independence by joining. And this kind of clause was a, a kind of corrupt corruption of all the work that had been done in the UN to, to give independence to the United Nations trust territories. So somehow the French usurped this part of the country and tried to absorb it into the French part. But with the advent of the internet, young people have come to know their history. They know their culture, they know who they are. And now they believe that it's, it's their right to have their country back. And uh, there is no um, uh, official document in the UN uh, for a, a union treaty between these two countries. So it was basically a fraud. And this accounts for why the situation in Cameroon is not known internationally. It also accounts um, to the fact that the country which is so rich um, is, is so much oppressed and exploit it illegally by the barrel of the gun. And this is why the second genocide in Africa is going on and nobody for nearly four years now, children in this part of the country have not been able to go to school. The students, the students are in the forest for those who are defending the children and the mothers, because what is happening with the military junta, you'd be surprised at the place that you visited. The, all the schools have been burned down, the villages burned down, which is why we were evicted. And nobody cares that for a whole, a whole country, nobody is going to school. Yeah, so we don't, we, we have been, you would remember we started Better World because of this uh, difficult situation in Cameroon. 
to try and bridge, bridge the cultures uh, in a way that the young people can um, probably use nonviolent ways to have a discussion. But as it is always, there is an international conspiracy to keep the status quo. And so these young people are not fighting against the uh, Francophone dictator. They are actually fighting against a whole um, international uh, conspiracy that is funded by the multinational who exploit. And of recent, coal can was discovered in Cameroon. You know, we have the gold, we have the, and the oil, and so on. So this is really a second scramble for Africa is happening in this territory. Yeah. And we can't say what will happen for education. Mm -hmm. What should I say? I'm asked answering this question for the second time. The first time was in 2015, when we had um, this joint seminar between the concept of Better World Cameroon that was out to uh, share, combine our indigenous way. We have developed a concept of non-formal education because the um, public system is broken. Yes, uh, the only way is to walk because we can't do it alone. As you have demonstrated, the spokes are out of the help of the wheel. That time in 2015, we were talking about the lack of internet in the 21st century. Without a computer, and linking up to systems that are working, that we can learn from, and also sharing, spreading also what we had developed. As you remember, we developed Better World Cameroon in 1966, 1996, 96. Since then, we have been talking about the inability of government to harvest the rich resources of learning which are in the communities. And then we just said right now, you know, yeah. with the beginning of the war, the internet was cut off. Yes, so unless we are able to influence policy, that government begins to know that they have to provide at least the infrastructure for education. Now the communities have been taken out. The beginning of the war, they said they don't want to see two or three young people together. They would call them terrorists. Where are the peers? They can't even learn from their peers. Mm -hmm. So we are in a dictatorship. It means not even the adults, not even the children, they cannot ask any question. And how do we learn? So you have just demonstrated how the will is completely broken. We have a society that has used all this abundance of resources to barricade itself from its opportunities. One would imagine that such a will is what the UN needs. Because when I did the Eco Village Design Education, it was part of the UN Decade of Education, where they were actually researching into why with all the resources, education isn't working. The standards have fallen far beyond when we started seeing we are a civilized society. So it breaks my heart.
to see that um, in as much as we have been trying in Africa over the decades, um, trying to improvise where nothing has been given to young people. Because you would remember that with the war, burning down of houses and old people inside, this is the family and this is the community. The resource of the community for us are the elderly who have the wisdom to hand down to the younger generation. Now we have a ruling oligarchy which is aging. Our president has been in power for 37 to 38 years now. Some of his ministers are elder, more than, are older than him. And these same people have sat tight, barricading the way for young people to bring what they have. Even the little that they are willing to give back to community through volunteering, because they see the need, it's their future. They want to replant the trees because the climate too is broken. They want to grow their own food. They want to regenerate Mother Earth. They know, they have the knowledge to build back the soil, to regenerate life itself. We can't even talk about the situation of water. Water is life, yet in Africa, everywhere is becoming desert. So, the heart of learning should be the young that at least we can concentrate on harvesting all the wealth from oil, from timber, from whatever, but allow the children to learn. I just mentioned the fact that for four years running, they have been no school in the part of the country. Yet they are UN agencies like UNICEF, like UNESCO. Yes, nobody is saying anything. Yet we are talking about building a global community when we cannot learn from each other. So education has been taken away from the learner. So with what you have, you need to How do you bring, how do you bring the model, the tools to the people, to the community, the community needs? Family are, families are broken because of lack of these tools. So this was to answer in a way that yes, of course, we decided to work together in 2015. So we can see that all the pieces in our wheel that should have been turning and moving, is constant, they are constantly, the pieces are constantly being removed. And this is why we are still where we are. Yet the, the world should know the, about the work that we are doing. So I would continue to say, yes, <laughs> we want to work together. Yes, we we'll give our all. Yes, and those who can see and have some compassion to the world, it's not only about us. It's also those who need it. 